guys, this is Red and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm really excited for this command because as you can see behind me, well, I'm in the 1.11 snapshot. I'm currently in the 16W39C snapshot, which is one of the main 1.11 snapshots, which was announced at Minecon 2016 and in which llamas were added. So today's command, as you saw from the title and as you can see behind me, it's based on llamas. And what I made today is llama disguises in just one command. Right, to get started you'll have, of course, to give yourself a command block, use this command slash give at p command underscore block and then you hit enter and you'll get your really nice command block. You place it down, paste the command inside, click on this button, click on done and you'll get your one command creation generated in just a few seconds. Now, uh, once you're done with the machine, of course you will see llama disguise in Minecraft 1.11, make sure that uh, you are in 16w39c or uh, probably in older snapshots it will not work. So make sure that you are in this version or newer. Now I'm not sure if it will still work in next versions. Right, so once that you're done, you can right click this sign and um, pay attention at the sound. <laughs> right, and it says that to craft a um, llama disguise, you'll need to, of course, find the llama. Then you'll need to have a totem, which is obtainable by killing the new mobs from the new mansion uh, structure. Right, so you need one of these and a nether star nether star there we go we have a nether star you drop them together on a llama it doesn't matter what type of llama is you have this really nice well animation and you get the llama totem oh yeah and of course uh, i got it in my first hotbar slot right so once you get it make sure that your hotbar slot is clear make sure that you don't have anything because some of the slots will be replaced with some items um, Alright, now let me go in another place, maybe here, and let me show you guys what this command adds. Right, so uh, once that you have the llama totem, it says that you have to place it in the first hotbar slot. So let me place it in my first hotbar slot, let me go in F5 mode so you guys can see what happens, and let me finally place the totem in my slot. Boom! And I get transformed in a really nice llama, that's it. Now, that is not it, actually, because we have some uh, items here in our inventory. And, of course, you don't have to hold the totem in your hands, so uh, if you want to scare someone, you, you know, they don't see the item that you're holding in your hand, like this, they don't see it, and you'll still be uh, a llama. So, the first effect that you have being a llama, well, apart from the invisibility effect, you have a slightly small speed effect, which will make you go a bit faster. And uh, one, one curious thing is that if you try to ride yourself, well, don't do it because you'll start to bounce away. So get down and don't don't ride the llama that is constantly teleported to you. Right, so if you want to personalize yourself, um, shift and right click and you'll get the interface of, well, yourself actually. And we'll get to this in just a moment. So let me take some carpets. So uh, if you want to place a carpet on yourself, shift right click, place the carpet and of course you'll be really swag. You can see <laughs> we have the bandito mask. Um, actually I prefer this one. So let's change it with this one. And look at that. Look at that. And of course if you have a friend in your server they can ride you. So this is the coolest thing ever and you can guide them and go wherever you want. Now, a cool thing is that if you want to scare your friends, um, um, you, you go near them, of course, and you can drop these items that you have in your inventory. So you have the taunt item. Sorry, I didn't know how to name it because I don't know what what does the llama say. And uh, yeah, that's why I just named it taunt. And if you drop it, it will make this, uh, this sound. Right, so if you want to scare them, like, uh, badly, you can use the choke item so if you drop the choke item look at what happens <laughs> it looks like the the llama is choking and you can of course carry your friends whoever is in the server then you have this uh, item which is actually an attack and it's called the speed item because of course being a llama well you you are able to speed so if you drop this item on ground the llama will get mad to the nearest mob in a radius of 15 blocks so if I drop this item, it should target this cow here. Let me drop it. Yeah, it targeted it. And come on, spit on her. If, if the llama doesn't want to spit, just uh, replace the item in your hand. So really quickly. And now it should spit the cow. Do it. Do it. Maybe we have to get close. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it doesn't charge uh, quickly. You have to wait two seconds, I think. 
and you'll get the item back and you can finally start to speed at mobs come on speed on her yeah it worked it worked yeah <laughs> right then of course you can target any entity even items llamas are so stupid that they can get mad on items so let me drop down this chest here q right and let me use the effect yeah it got mad on i on the item come on speed him come on it's there okay let's use this item again Oh yeah, you can see that it's mad with the item. <laughs> and of course you can spit at other llamas. So let me take a llama egg. So let's use this. Yeah, <laughs> you can see that it spits on llamas. Oh yeah, and they will spit back. So this is really funny actually. Right, so let's get to the next item. Let me transform back into human. And let me summon a couple of llamas. Okay, that's perfect. Now let me summon my llama. And let me use the lead, uh, the lead item. Of course, you can leash yourself with a lead. Right click on the llama that makes you. And of course, all of the other llamas will follow you. So this is really cool. This uh, actually is not something added by the command. So if you don't know, this is an addition in Minecraft where llamas, they form these caravans. And of course, if you leash yourself, they will follow you, which is really cool. Now, let's beat at a llama. Does he get mad on me? Oh, I, I didn't get mad on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so this is how it works. Then the next attack is the super speed. You can see that I have... Well, let me remove the leash item, okay? So they don't follow me. Oh, what happened? How dare you speed on the llama boss? I'm the boss here right now. Okay, so let me use the super speed. <laughs> Boom, and as you can see, it does this really big speed that goes everywhere. And of course will hurt nearby entities and also this recharges every eight seconds so you can drop the item back and it will spit all over the place um right so the next item is quite funny we have the poop is llama poop let me take the carpet back because i really love it yeah one thing that you saw is that if you remove your llama disguise you will lose the items that you place inside the llama so before removing this disguise remove the carpet and everything you have and then you can remove your disguise. Right, so now if we drop this item on ground, the llama poop. So let me drop it on ground. All the llamas that are in a radius of 5 blocks, not only llamas, all entities will be affected by this toxic llama poop. Which will give a poison effect. So if I go close to it, let me become a human. I should get effect. Oh yeah, I have poison. Yeah, oh yeah, because I'm in game mode 1. So let's go in game mode 0. Yeah. As you can see, I get poisoned by this llama poop. You can pick it up, so uh, it will disappear after 30 seconds. And make sure that you stay away from it, because it's really, really toxic. Stay away from the llama poop. Now, guys, you know that the new uh, totem item, it revives you in case of death. Um, now, uh, you may say, well, what if you die? Well, make sure that you're not holding this item and you'll not lose it. Because you remember, you used a nether star to make it. So pay attention, don't hold this item in your hand. Also, another thing that you shouldn't do... Well, let me use the keep inventory uh, uh, game mode. So one thing that you don't have to do at all is to ride the llama and then remove the item from your, um, from your hand. Look at what happened. I got teleported in the void. So make sure that you don't do this because this is how the commands work, etc, etc. But anyways, this is how you become a llama in Vanilla Minecraft 1.11. I'm in the 16w39c snapshot, so keep in mind it. Let me go back in game mode 1. Oh, alright, alright. So make sure that you don't ride the llama at all, right? That's it. Um, if you want to remove the machine from your world, you can... Oh, first you can deactivate or activate the machine if, well, you want to temporarily deactivate it. But if you want to remove it forever, just right click on this sign here and boom. That's it. The machine disappeared. And of course, the disguise will not work anymore. You will have just a normal totem, which will revive you in case of death. So guys, that was it about this command creation. I really hope that you liked it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I want to thank you all for being here until the end of the video. And I'll see you all guys in my next video. See you, bye!